everyone! So today I'm going to be doing my summer foundation routine. And it's not really like foundation routine because I don't use foundation. Um, but it's what I've been doing for my foundation for like the whole entire summer. And if you want to see my skincare routine, that will be linked below. Only one thing has changed. Um, I switched face washes to this oil-free acne wash pink grapefruit facial cleanser by Neutrogena. It's the only thing that's changed. Um, so yeah, go watch that if you want to see how I got my skin clear. And also this foundation routine is helping get my skin clear just because it's so light. Great for the summer. Um, I use kind of three things to kind of prime and set my makeup. And those things definitely help like my concealer and stuff stay on. So I hope you guys enjoy this summer foundation routine and I'll see you guys in the next clip. Alright, so I have already moisturized my face with this Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. And I already put that on. And then I already put this R Smith's Rosebud Slab on my lips. Um, and the only reason that I've done these two things is because I didn't realize I was going to be filming a foundation routine, but all of a sudden I was like, oh my gosh, let's just film a foundation routine. So I did. Um, and sorry if I look so crappy. I don't know why. I am like so tired today. I woke up and then I like an hour later, like after my shower and my breakfast, I took another nap. So I don't know what's going on. But anyway, um, so now I'm just going to prime my face and I use the Steel of One Step primer. And this is the primer that's also a bronzer. And when I first put this on my face, my face is going to look like really red and stuff, but just ignore that because it'll go away in like a second. Now I go into concealer and I use Max Pro Longwear Concealer. And the shade I have it in is NC20 and as you'll see, NC20 is way too light for me. I definitely need to get a darker one super soon so I'm just going to start off by putting this underneath my eyes do it underneath your eyes um, if you don't use a brush you use this finger your ring finger because it's like the one that's not as strong so you won't like be too harsh on your eye and I'm just going to take anything else and put it on any other blemishes that I have right now Okay, and I totally forgot to do this before my concealer. Um, I don't know why, I think it's because normally like I get all my foundation out and then I do it, but um, before I, um, after my primer, I use this Dr. Feel Good by Benefit. And it just looks like that. And this, it just describes it as an invisible refiner blended with vitamin C to help smooth away the appearance of fine lines while leaving skin looking and feeling more silky, flawless, and matte to the touch. Basically, I don't know, it's kind of like a mattifier for me, so after my primer, which I haven't really put anything else on my nose yet, so I'm good, um, I put this on my T-zone, because this really helps get rid of shine, and it came with a sponge, but honestly, just use your fingers, it gets too much if you use it with a brush, so put that on after your primer if you're doing the same thing as me, and then put on your concealer. Okay, so now on to powder. I use the Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder, and I love this stuff, honestly. It gives you just a little bit of coverage, um, as well as just um, keeping your skin matte. And it just kind of gives your skin that, like, I mean, my skin's pretty clear. Like, I could go to school or anywhere without foundation, I'd be okay, but um, this really just kind of evens everything out. So, um, I, I have this in the translucent shade. Okay, and I just take that on an e.l.f. powder brush. It's like $3 or something. And minus, like, the concealer and the primer and the other primer. I don't know. I feel like... I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I was trying to say this is mostly drugstore, but it's actually totally not. Sorry. And make sure you get underneath your eyes. And now I am done, um, I'm just going to put some blush on. And this is just a Physician's Formula Happy Booster Glow and Mood Boosting Bronzer. And it's the light one. Looks like that. I like focus it on the pink. And this just like makes your skin look a little bit bronzy and a little bit glowy. Okay, and the very last thing that I use for my face is the Urban Decay Slick Oil Control Makeup Setting Spray. 
and this is a mini one. Um, I also have the big one in the all-nighter, which I love, but I'm deciding, um, I want to try out the D-Slick instead of the all-nighter. So far they seem mainly the same to me, but yeah, so just shake it up, spray it on. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this foundation routine, um, yeah, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys!